Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel, Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. Next vehicle we're gonna be doing is this 2019 Chevy Traverse for a remote start. This is a push to start. These are the parts we're going to be using on this 2019 Chevy Traverse. This is a NU1204 four button remote. We already have our Blade AL installed in the CM900 brain. So this is a CM900. And then we already have our Blade AL inserted and programmed. And then a GMP1T harness. That's all the parts that we're going to be using on this vehicle. So on this particular Traverse, since it's pushed to start in 2019, the BCM is located behind here. I pulled off this plastic piece. Um, I can actually see it back behind here. So I'm gonna take this 10 millimeter out, see how far I can go, but it's right back there. So I've got to plug all of my plug-in connections there. And then the OBD2 should be underneath the dash. So this whole damn piece right here does not come off. Um, you gotta pull this back and back in here. Um, I'll kind of show you how much of a pain in the ass this is completely. I mean, this is ridiculous. So right down there is the BCM. You can see the plugs, there's the white plug right there. So that's what we're gonna have to get to to get all these plugs plugged in. So it'll be hard to show you, but that's where everything's at. So anybody has a way to get this whole entire part off on the side let me know because i can't figure out how to get this whole damn thing off because it's behind the dash here and all this bullshit so this is the worst chevy is terrible at designing shit to be able to access a fuse panel in a bcm dumbest idea i've ever seen i mean how could you not make a breakout right there and just pull this whole thing out well i finally got pissed off and pulled it out so fuck this panel there you go Backside and there it is a bitch and a half to pull out but I got it out. So now, all this is exposed. Much easier to get to. Now, you can see the BCM. And the only plugs we need is green, blue, and white. Those are the only plugs we need. So we tried to cut it here. That did not work. So we had to cut it up there, kind of where they butt together. And you can see the wires. You have to move the can wires. So if you look right here, You've got your brown, red, brown, yellow. There's your can wires. We've got to cut those off and then we have to extend them to the white plug, which is right here. Because they don't go to the blue plug and the green plug, they go to the white plug. So we got to cut those and then extend them to this plug. Lots of fun, thank you. So here's the white plug. This pin right here at the green is going to be, it's like a green, white stripe or gray stripe. That's your parking light. And then your white and blue is gonna be your cans. So your red can is gonna go to your blue, 
your yellow can is going to go to your white. I have these extended, that's why this wire is on here. Same way with the parking light wire, I have this extended over to the driver's side since this is on the passenger side BCM. So we're gonna plug in the white plug and then we're gonna plug in our uh, T-harness plugs here. So the factory plug will plug into those two and then these will plug into the BCM. All right, we have everything plugged back in. Those two are plugged in. We're gonna put all this back in there, but we want to show you kind of like what we did. So everything's plugged in back there. Everything's plugged in here. Now we're gonna go over to the driver's side. Okay, make sure that this one is on BCM can in the diagram. We went ahead and extended the parking light wire here because it's the green with white. Here's our OBD2. We're gonna plug that in right here. And then that way this can be extended. We're probably gonna have to put the brain because the brain plugs are right here. So we're probably gonna have to put it behind here because that's as far as we got with that. The way they designed this is terrible. So this is how it's all gonna go. There's our OBD2 mounted up. We did run this extension piece right here because it was super, super tight. So we ran this extension piece to give us more room to get over to there to drop that thing back there behind there. So that way it'll kind of give you some more leverage. Otherwise it's gonna be super tight and I don't even think it would work. So definitely use this extension they provide with it. Part of the programming instructions is you gotta clone this key. Right here is where the key goes. I found out, um, I looked in the owner's manual. So you'll place the key down here. It's got a groove in it. You can feel it with your fingers. So that's where the key goes way down in there and they've got enough trash in here to fill it up. <laughs> Okay, just a little side note, I made a mistake. I used this wire for the parking light wire. This is not the right wire. You will need to use the standard gray plug and the green with white stripe to run a negative. That other one will throw a positive, do not use that. So that's what I used on this one. I'm gonna get this all zip tied and put up in here. After doing the programming, it makes me want to uh, cry. The programming on this is not easy. So um, I'm gonna run this antenna, get it all zip tied up in there, making it all look nice and everything should be done. Okay, everything's installed. OBD2 is here. We put the brain behind here. So all of our wiring's all tucked up underneath. We got the center console put back together over there. That is a nightmare to do. So now we're just gonna go ahead and start the car. 2019 Chevy Traverse, remote start by new start. This is also a push to start vehicle. And this also does keyless with lock and unlock as well. Thank <laughs> you.